That's right. Well, making meals and making a success, that is what's been happening with Capson family, the Capson family throughout the years. One of their latest ventures has them in a coffee shop and diner in southeast Albuquerque. David Romero is live there this morning with more on their story, more on their food. I know you've been sampling some of it, David. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, if you guys behave, maybe I'll take some home to you. You hey, just never know. We have been good yeah. all morning. Yes, we have. All morning. Oh, yes. You know what? There are folks even in our newsroom that rave about the French toast here, and we're going to be raving about this hot, buttery cinnamon roll here in just a moment. But before we get to all the goods, let's get to what's important here. Anna Marie Katnison is with us this morning. Good morning, Anna Marie. Good morning. David. So great to be with you here. Thank so you. we were so honored to be joined by your dad last hour. Now, my gosh, he's had his hand in everything in Albuquerque, Nick and Jimmy's, Mykonos. Um, if the list could go on, we could literally use the whole time talking about that. But with caps right here, I mean, this has been in the family for a long time, and it's a long-standing tradition, right? It's been in the family since 1972. It is a long-standing tradition. It's a staple. It's it's a place where people can come here and feel at home. They know they're going to see one of us, one of the family. Food is always consistent. Um, it's just one of the staples of Albuquerque, where everybody knows it's a great place to go. And what's great about that, too, folks, is that, I mean, they've really stuck with rich New Mexican traditions in making the breakfast. I'll vouch for the huevos rancheros. And, I mean, even the even something like the tortillas, right? The homemade tortillas. All Tortillas are all homemade. All the food is made from scratch. Every morning I go in, my brother and I go in, and we taste everything. Of course, they all know and have the same the recipe, but we make sure that everything's perfect every day just so everybody that comes in has that consistency. They know what they're going to get every time they come in here. Good service, good food. Now with that service, okay, so behind all that, I mean, is a rich tradition that the Capnesons have been known for. Um, what's it been like for you to kind of carry on those traditions that your father set in place? It's been like second nature. It's been actually the only thing I've ever known and grown up to do. Uh, at first, I wasn't sure if I wanted to actually stay in the business when I was younger, but I, I realized that this is what my passion is, what I have a love for. And I'm so thankful that I was born into this, that um, I have the ability to be with all these great people all the time and be able to make people happy, not only with our personalities, our service, but the food. And it's just a great experience to give back to the community, give them some of our happiness, some of our restaurant experience that we love. And what's been really cool about that too, folks, is in the time that I've been sitting here, I mean, you really have that down-home feel to it when you come here because, I mean, it's, it's not... It, it's not even just the great food. It's also just the, the camaraderie that, I mean, you guys have with a lot of the locals here, right? The, that usually come in the usuals, right? Yes, we do. We have regulars that come in all the time. We know them by name. Uh, every day we have new people coming in, but it is very, very much a uh, regular local spot. Even if you look on the reviews, it's a local place. Something like a, a local cheers without the alcohol, of course. I think if you guys need a norm, I'm going to volunteer for that. I'm just going to walk in. I want you guys to say Dave every time I walk in, you know. <laughs> I'll volunteer for that. Well, I'll definitely know you by name. <laughs> yeah, when you come in. There you go. <laughs> guys, again, uh, that down-home local atmosphere that we love to promote on KRQE this morning is that local spot over here at Caps for so many years along Central. You guys are going to have some details about that coming up here in just a second. But, again, you know, made from scratch. Scratch is where it's at, you know. Just giving you guys a, a little taste of that. <laughs> You're just teasing us now. Just bring back the food. <laughs> just, yeah, just cut to the chase. Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> That's what we want to hear. Yes, I'll bring the you back line. food. That's the bottom it. Line. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks so much, David. In case you're wondering just how long Nick has had caps, they bought the building in the early 1970s when it was once a Denny's. All right, let's move on.